the upbeat. Ooh. Oh yeah, that up B, it, it seems like the range in which it like goes through a uh, hitboxes is really long. Like even when he's at high percent, he can still just up B at a lot of things. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Oh, and the breakfast not doing much. Yeah, it actually just extended the hitbox on the forward air. Oh, and I like the attempt at the, the down air, trying to just poke the shield and not really go too uh, over Zell, so I think that was smart. Torquemaster looking really good here. Oh. Oh. Throwing the nukes, dropping bombs on your boy. Yeah, I like how he's spacing that move. Mm. Really smart. And like he's spacing in a way that I know you can hit the bomb before it lands to like this. Wow. Oh, the nice. reset. Oh, and lock. covered the roll in. Wow. Really good stuff. Oh. Yo, the reflexes are on deck right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're trying to go for the up smash. I, I actually agree with that, but uh, the sword was like, nope. No, I, I definitely expected this to be more in Sparrow's favor due to the matchup and the fact that uh, he's ranked number one in the region. Yeah. From. But right now, man, Toy Master just has all, of, all his options covered. I mean, a Game & Watch actually can really cover that uh, down air, which not a lot of uh, characters' up airs can do. So that's a nice little thing. I, I think this matchup might have gotten a little better for uh, Game & Watch. Oh, down tilt. That was a smart down tilt, too. That was the F tilt, I think? That was F tilt. Wow. The lion taming. Yeah, taking it from all the way in the middle of the stage, too. Oh, wow. And that oh. was a really risky uh, wow. down there. Wow, took so much damage from the neutral beat. Yeah. Yeah, Torquemaster is looking really good. Wow. And I think Sparrow is getting a little bit frustrated, too. Like, throwing out a lot of these smash attacks and trying to get this kill to connect. A B would piss anybody off. Oh, oh the parry. And he's just like, whatever, I'm going to go back to up being you. Okay, there we go. That's it. All right, just giving him some time to breathe. Trying to wait out that limit, too. Yeah, Very you smart can do time. that. Yeah. Only last 15 seconds in this game. Yep. Wow. Yeah, the Game & Watch can really juggle you with that up there. I've seen him go from, like, 0 to 120 just, like, easy without the opponent touching the ground. Wow. From, yeah. <laughs> from above. That has some crazy hitbox on it, that up here. Yeah, it's, it's nuts. And it's so fast. It's just fast. It out. It's huge. It sets up for a lot of different stuff. If it's not intangible on startup, it's like it has some type of armor on it or something. Yeah. Like, or invincibility, because like the way he just throws it out through all these hitboxes, it just seems like why not just all these moves? It beats out a move. lot of things. But you wow. know, I was gonna say because Spargo's catching on to the fact that he's landing with that down there. Like no matter how safe he tries to be with it, he's gonna see it. Ooh. Yeah. That, ooh, I'm surprised I didn't kill. Another opportunity here, though. I got the ledge again. Okay. Nice. Drifting off the stage with the bombs. Okay, he's going to go for the fourth throw. Mm. Okay. Oh, and you can still use the bucket to kind of uh, drift. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Okay, got a true game of one. Oh, oh, the bomb drop. Wait a minute. So did I just see the that bomb has two hitboxes? Yeah. It came out, hit him on the first hitbox, and then they killed him on the yeah. second. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It, has a hip, it has a hitbox when it's falling, but you can cancel it out with any move. If you just hit it, and it cancels it out. But it's still, when it's falling, it still has like a hitbox of its own. I had, wow, that I had no idea. That was really, really pristine. Yeah, it's so, it actually is what makes it a uh, really safe on killed option. Like, if, you, if they don't hit it away, and it hits your shield and explodes, you get a free grab. Wow. It has enough shield uh, pressure to do that. Man, I always like Game & Watch. It's, it's, it's nice to see. It's really nice to see. And he's pressuring that shield, just gassing it up. <laughs> I like uh, Game & Watch's new animations for sure. They're very cool. Oh, yeah. Some people actually get kind of salty <laughs> when, they, when they look at like the up tilt. He's all like smug. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, that was a really clean up there, too. It just makes them look like way more cartoony and like interesting. Yeah, I think as far as uh, the Game Watch lore goes, that was a good forward air. Um, there's like a bunch of different games you can play in one cartridge. Right. So it's like it's just a bunch of different games in one guy. Really cool. Oh, so aware. Oh, oh man, he went for the double side beat. Yeah, and he ended up eating a little damage from the one. I, I think in four, getting a one would be like 12 damage. Yikes, I had no idea it did that much percent. It does a lot to That's you. The, just for being unlucky. Oh, yeah. late punish, forward smash, barely living. Yeah, and then if the one hits you, oh, oh yeah, that'll leave it. Yeah. If you hit with the one, it doesn't, it's like a squeaky mallet. It yeah. doesn't do anything. Okay, 
nice. Spargo this time starting off with the stock weave. But can he keep it up? I, I wonder how Spargo's going to adapt to the up B. Like, he, he adapts to the follow through, but he doesn't do much about the up B or, like, preventing oh. it. Ooh, almost got him. Yeah, he wanted there. to just immediately do it, get rid of that stuff. Oh, yeah. Good forward tilt. He's been trying to kill with that. Okay. This is an interesting choice by uh, Torque Master. Okay. The roll ended up uh, paying for that roll. All right. Keeping them pressured at the ledge here. Really good spacing. Ooh, nice. Back air looking back promising. Air. This is what he wasn't doing in the previous game. Yeah, he wasn't throwing out the turtle very often. Okay. Forward air just covering his bases. I really like that uh, Sparta was playing a lot more patient now. I think this is because like he got that first kill and was able to establish a lead that you can play the game he wanted to. He's not just running into these hitboxes like you're looking for. Oh, and no. uh, speaking of running into hitboxes. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, Spargo's just accepted the fact that he's going to take damage and that up B is just going to do its work. So it's like, I'm going to try to mitigate that as much as possible. Right. And just not really get into his range until I know that I can hit him. Yep. It's working okay. really well for him. <laughs> until he gets nared and then the aquarium yeah. comes to town. Oh, the up B. And the evasive up B. I mean, I know he tried to hit with it, but it's just it's such a versatile move. I might just play this character. Just yeah, he's very quirky. <laughs> but I think it might have to take games and use to the new forward air. That might be the biggest challenge in picking up new game logs. Yeah. Wow. But even to the, to the back air? Really yeah. nice stuff. And, and you know? Looking nothing like last game, honestly. Not at all. And game watch is so hard to, to edge guard now, too. It seems like ledge trapping just seems to be the thing to do. Yeah. Unless he's like super common, you can like hit him before he does the up B and he doesn't have a jump. Then I, I don't know, most of the time just save it, just cover the ledge with hitboxes. He could go for a ledge trump too, or uh, the down tilt. I remember uh, Sparko was doing down tilt like all day on the other player. Right. Uh, he's not really trying it out that much and I wonder why. I don't know, I just feel like he doesn't want to be anywhere near Torque Master after what happened in the first game. Yeah, like, and those fairs really too. Really making him recognize that, hey, I have a sword. Like. <laughs> I have to. You, I command all this range on the stage. You gotta be the one to do something about it. But you try to get the blade beam into the stage to get the extended hitbox. A little too high up. Oh, oh, not the best trade. Yeah, no, he only got like the first hit of that down smash. Oh, good grab, good grab. Okay. Oh, it fell out of the neutral air. That's what you never want to see as a game watch player. Oh no, I mean you got about 12% off of that, but that's not enough. Alright. Oh, he's falling out of the air. I guess yeah. he, he might be fast falling it. I don't know. Maybe Spargo's got some of that uh, the DI. The crazy DI. Super crazy DI. Okay. Nair looking pretty sweet. And he's always recovering low. I mean, I don't see why he wouldn't. Anyway? Like, recovering horizontally just doesn't seem like a great idea. Not even just a sword, no. Yeah. The one that has limit. Because Sparko hasn't really come up with any solutions to that recovery yet, so it's like, why do I have to mix up my recovery? Wow. He didn't even try to use the limit at all. He just waits the whole 15 seconds. Yeah. Check change? Oh, too slow. Yeah, a little bit. But, uh, you know, I mean, Sparko's taking this time to learn how to, or not learn how, but to uh, get his limit together. So I, I can agree with that. I think the down tilt wouldn't be a bad idea. Maybe it trades. I, I really don't know. But if he's snapping to the ledge, oh. oh. That was weird. What was that? I don't know. I didn't see him. I guess he didn't use this double jump off stage, but he didn't double jump towards the stage. And he had might, might even air dodge, too. That's but, possible. Uh, That's possible. Yikes. You don't want to see it go out like that, but, uh, I don't know. Oh, he air dodged. Yeah. yeah, he air dodged. Spargo, uh, I don't know. He looks like he's adjusted pretty well to Torque Master, which basically was him just slowing down the game. Like, after he got the first dock, he's like, all right. I fought enough. <laughs> I've, I've done enough like just boxing you and playing in your range. Now you have to play my game. Yep. So. Yeah, I, the up B is just infuriating. Like, I haven't played against good game and watches yet, but just like watching the matches, it seems infuriating because they get away with it. They yeah, really it's like do. you're like, all right, I'm hitting him. Time to start like some momentum, some aggressive options, and you just like up B's right out of it. Then he like falls on top of you with an aerial. Oh. Yeah, it's just like you can't down air through that, that up air. <laughs> like. <laughs> it's got the wind box. It hurts you. It's Game Watch is so much better now. It, it, he he looks really really cool. Yeah, a lot of Game Watches don't like the new fair changes, but uh, I don't know. Torque Master is not one of them. Torque Master does not care. <laughs> he is doing whatever he pleases. Good forward tilt too. Looks like he got the sour spot of that, but he'll take it. Positional advantage. All right. 
And uh, Spargo taking the time to get the limit. But right now, he's kind of clobbering. Good job. Yeah, this is a much better start for Torquemaster. Oh, wow. He likes the early kills. I can tell right now. Uh, I mean, hey, it's, it's Game of Watch. He's been at kill percent for like a year now. Very true. Oh, I thought we were going to see an up air from Spargo. But, I mean, down there might have... I, I, I honestly don't know what wins that trade. But uh, it doesn't look like uh, Spargo wants to find out. All right. Just dancing around the shield here with the limit. Waiting for an opening. 80% is pretty scary. I uh, okay. Wow, shield pressure, but still. Wow, that, on. that tech, though. Yeah. DI down and started to get the tech. That was really good stuff. Great melee, yes. Oh, my goodness. Barely avoiding getting sliced up. It's like getting hit up by that up smash. Mm. Dash attack doing quite a lot of knockback, but not enough to kill. First dock so crucial between these two players. Mm. Yeah, Torque Master is very safe when he recovers. Oh, Ooh, yeah, so, so yeah. quick and so strong. Oh. Now, Torque Master, opportunity to just run away with this stock lead as much as he can. I would play so safe if I was him. I mean, he's been doing a pretty good job of that, even when he's trying to take a stock and it's equal. Ooh, that was uh, not safe at all. Nope, nope, no. Nope. Parry for parry. Nice. Not yeah. even letting him get a single percent. That was really good. Mm -hmm. I would just like to take a little time to like recognize just how good this movement is for both of these players. Yeah. Like, it doesn't look like Spargo is missing a single beat. Yeah, very few times I see him like face a move like un unprecisely. You know what I mean? Mm. And that's really good when you made a character like Cloud. Oh yeah. Having a pristine movement, yeah. Okay. Almost getting hit by a forward there there. Uh, getting hit. Oh, Spargo. Nice, another one. Oh. Okay, go deep. Yeah, almost the limit too. Oh my goodness, just shield pressure is crazy right here. Oh yeah, looks like Spargo is taking a little he, he's starting to adjust a little bit to how Torquemaster is uh is recovering. He's trying to yeah. get him before he can even go low. Yeah, that might be the answer because uh, honestly, Spikemaster has been able to be off stage for free pretty much. For free. Okay, good turtle. I limit on deck. Really scary position to be in, but that whip grab might be enough. Ooh, oh, oh okay. catching it. Oh, <laughs> it looks like he doesn't even plan to use it. Ooh, he just used it to take barely. it out. Barely. Wow, he barely got around that down smash with the bug. Needs to get up in his ability. Oh, but, that oh, was good. Goodness. Wow, great parry into the down smash. Game of Watch's jab is huge. Oh, that'll Another do one. it. Catch the neutral good with a turnaround down smash this time. I wonder how safe that down smash is now. Uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I get away with it a lot, but <laughs> I can't tell if it's just people not being good at punishing it or the move is that safe. I think it got safer. Well, with shield drop being worse in this game, a lot of smash attacks are better on shield. True. Okay. Ooh, that was such a good landing bear. Okay. Good there as well. Still, these hits aren't leading to the stock, and like, any little, any little uh, percent that Spargo gets just icing on the cake pretty much. Mm. Oh yeah, that down smash was not safe on shield whatsoever. Dash attack, putting a position. Oh, oh, what time is it? Here. Wow, nice. He uh, he tied his recovery at the last moment just to avoid getting hit by like a tilt or a down smash while losing free fall. Mm. Oh wow! I'm just realizing how uh, Game Watch's upbeat can actually catch jumps, and that's horrible for Cloud. Oh, that was good. Tech in oh. it though. Yeah, it's much easier to tech in this game, so there's really no excuse for missing it unless it's untechable. Yep, and that clearly wasn't even at 180 something. Spargo, man, he's getting oh. all the little hits that add up so much. 75 is already kill percent when it comes to uh, Game oh. Watch. 213 oh. percent hanging on. That there could have gone Another to a lot of trouble. Attack. Every little hit, man. It, it matters so much. Oh, yeah. Especially when you have one more stock to take care of. <laughs> Almost got the limit on line two. He's playing so patient, so safe. Oh, there the we go. The final bomb drop will be enough. <laughs> 98 still really scary, though. Oh, yeah. That's definitely kill percentage. Yes. Spargo was able to avoid that first fair, and the second one just knocked him out. Charge up, of course. Oh, yeah. Got to. But he can still die early. It's, it's piled. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I think Sparkmaster recognizes that. Cloud's already at 48, 59. Oh no, I thought it was going to be a dash attack and it almost was. Uh -oh. how, is it, how he deals with limit is going to be crucial for this set right now, but. Oh, oh is that how you deal with limit? Oh, no, you jump right into it. Oh my god, wow, that was Spargo such a. taking it 2-1. That was such a good set. Yeah, we're back and forth between both. I love that. I love that.
13 years old, man. 13 years old.